three years ago, I co-founded a company called Hello Fresh, which has become the largest recipe box company in the world now. And I also started the world's fastest online cooking course called The 60 Second Chef. And it's all about teaching you everything you need to know to get confident in the kitchen in 60 second short format videos. The 60 Second Chef's featured across the Times website and the last video got two and a half million views, which is incredible because it just goes to show there's a hunger for learning how to cook. So with HelloFresh, it just made so much sense to film all of these dishes that I was creating, which quickly led me into doing the filming and the editing and basically doing that entire production myself. But the gap in the market is to create content which isn't just sterile teaching, it's something that's shot cinematically that can look really beautiful and engage people right through to the end. The great thing is though, when you're not investing in crew, you can invest in the best equipment. I guess when you're getting a new piece of gear, the first thing you do, or at least the first thing that I do, is look at what, what are the people that I respect using. And, and I remember that Philip Bloom was using uh, a Miller tripod, so I, I decided to give it a go. And immediately you could actually tell that it was just a lot more, a lot more solid. Uh, the shots were far smoother. And, and that was perfect for me. I guess a lot of people would use uh, that, that panning ability for something like a, an epic landscape, but I'm working with food and, and when you've got a 100 millimeter macro lens, then suddenly that plate of food becomes your landscape. The fact that it's also incredibly robust, I mean, I wouldn't say that I treat my gear as gently as, as I might. Last week I went to Lancashire to get some footage of our butcher and it was pelting down with rain then all of my equipment got covered in mud and and you don't have to worry about that with the miller because you just wipe it down and you know it's going to be fine every single time you take it out of the bag so I've, had, I've had tripods and you're replacing them every couple of years but if you invest in something up front then it's going to last you for 10 years 15 years maybe even more and the fact is that what could be more important, it's, it's actually forming the foundation of every single shot you do and so you can have the best camera in the world but if you don't have a solid support to rest it on and something that pans beautifully smoothly then there's really no point in having that equipment in the first place. So it's an investment in, in, in creating shots which look incredibly professional.